I like this. I like that. I want this. I want that. You've probably already learned these simple phrases. Very useful, obviously, but native speakers often will express that they like something or they want something in ways that you may not have noticed. So today we are going to learn those native ways and help your English become more natural and more native sounding. Let's get started. All right, so before I start, let's talk about coffee. Why is coffee important? Because I love coffee. I probably drink at least two cups a day. And if you see a lot of my videos, it's probably in at least half of them. So anyway, coffee is going to be used as the example for the rest of this video. I am a blank guy or I am a blank girl. Blank is where you put the thing you like. So if I like coffee, I would just say I'm a coffee guy or a girl and then you would say I'm a coffee girl simple and yes it is typically used for food so another example is let's say somebody asks hey where do you want to go eat how about hot pot and then you can respond and say uh well not really a hot pot guy how about we have beef noodle soup or another way you can phrase this is to say I don't really like hot pot. I'm more of a beef noodle soup kind of guy. Blank is my thing. Okay, so if something is your thing, that means you especially like it. So for me, again, coffee is my thing. If I really like coffee. If you don't like coffee, then you just say coffee is not my thing or coffee is not really my thing. And it also works for verbs too. So you can say, going to the gym is not my thing. I don't like sweating. Or like me, maybe going to the gym is your thing. For instance, I do CrossFit at least three times a week. This one's actually true. So I would say CrossFit is my thing. Or going to the gym and working out, that's my thing. Oh, okay, this is my jam. Oh, this is a good one. This one actually started from music, jam. So a jam is just slang for a song. Your favorite song comes on the radio. You say, oh, that's my jam. It means that's one of your favorite songs. But people began starting to use it for anything. That's their favorite thing. For example, I really like cars, as you may have noticed from my Rice Rocket video, but Porsches especially, that's my jam. They look cool, they're fast. Wish I could afford one, maybe someday when I become YouTube famous. Okay, and then again, the coffee example. I really like coffee, but Phil's, now that's my jam, my favorite one. It's great. It's only in California though, so. Yeah. Okay, I'm into blank. Uh, this phrase is good for larger concepts or ideas like I'm into art or I'm into computer science. Or if you don't like it, you just say I'm not into art. I'm, I'm not really into computer science. For me, impossible. I tried coding. It's like another language. Uh, also for hobbies and activities. So you can say I'm into tennis. I'm into badminton or I'm not into tennis. I'm not really into badminton. For me, I'm into breakdancing or b-boying. That's my thing, that's my jam. Oh man, all these work, these are great. Uh, what's next? Uh, oh, that's what I'm talking about. This is a great phrase if you've just experienced something you really like or something that made you feel really good. Like today, I made this killer pot of coffee and then I took that first sip. Ooh, that's what I'm talking about. And it's not just limited to food either. This works for all kinds of things. Maybe you're with your friends and you see this girl or guy you really like and you're like, whoa, hey, whoa, hey, look, look, hey. That's what I'm talking about. Or you suddenly see your dream house or your dream car and you say, ooh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Yes, that is what I'm talking about. That's my jam. Uh, okay, so to kill for or to die to, sounds a little weird, but let me explain. These essentially mean the same thing. You are going to do something really, really extreme to get what you want. Like for instance, you're walking down the street in the summertime and it's like 100 degrees out, or I guess for you guys it's like 38 or 40 degrees or something, right? And there's no seven, no family mart in sight. So then you say, I would 
kill for some water right now. I would die for some air conditioning. Or the iPhone 11 example again. The iPhone 11 just came out. I'm dying for a new phone. My old iPhone 8 sucks. I don't have that cool panorama picture thing that everybody likes. Or maybe you maybe you work at a restaurant. You're a waiter or waitress. And you've been standing for like 12 hours or something. I would kill for a break right now. Or I'm dying to take a break right now. All right. So those are six native ways you can say I like something or I want something. And I use these all of the time. In fact, in case you're wondering, all of the phrases that I teach are phrases that are very commonly used. So don't worry about that. They are all useful. And if it's something that's uncommon, I will tell you so you know when to use it or how to use it. All right, now it's time to see if you guys remembered all these phrases or not. Here's the quiz. All right, did you guys get them all right? If not, no problem. Don't worry about it. Just rewatch the video and most importantly, practice. You have to practice making sentences, talking to other people. You have to use this, otherwise you will for sure forget. You can't just, oh, just watch my videos while you're eating a snack, you're taking a dump. It's not gonna work. You have to focus and practice these phrases. It's okay if you don't get them right the first time. Just keep using it and you'll become more and more comfortable and your English will get more and more natural and native. And that's what we're trying to do. Uh, some good methods are to practice with your teacher or practice with your online friends. They have a lot of uh, language exchange apps and things like that or watch TV shows repeat the lines of your favorite actors or actresses anything helps just use it <clears throat> all right enough lecturing for today go take a break you guys deserve it but make sure you come back and watch another one of my videos they're super helpful and if you don't see something you really like tell me literally just comment or message me and I will try to make a video on that topic because to be honest, I don't really know what you guys need. I'm just guessing. Okay, get out of here. Happy New Year, everyone. Oh man, that's my jam. Ah, that's what I'm talking about. Hmm, it's not really my thing. Oh yeah. Coffee is my thing.